Big news from OpenAI, they announced a big upgrade to their flagship model, GPT-40, which of course powers ChatGPT. A post on X from the company on November 20th, again, we're going through a couple weeks of updates here, made this announcement saying, quote, GPT-40 got an update. The model's creative writing ability has leveled up, more natural, engaging, and tailored writing to improve relevance and readability. It's also better at working with uploaded files, providing deeper insights, and more thorough responses. So as of our recording today, the new version is tied on the popular AI leaderboard maintained by lmarena.ai. It is tied with Google's latest experimental version of Gemini for the number one spot. So it seems like the upgrade, at least in the short term, did some good kicking it up the rankings. Now, Paul, it's kind of interesting to me to see this model getting specifically better at creative writing and just contending with Google's experiment, experimental model directly. Yeah, so there's very few details about this. Uh, it is interesting that they explicitly said this is uh, for creative writing is the yeah. main improvement. They did one post on Twitter or X that I, I could find there is, so um, if you ever want to follow along with what OpenAI is doing, they do have a model release notes section on their site. So we'll put the link to the show notes for this one. It was very direct. Um, it just says November 20th, I think is the date. So it's kind of like journal entries almost. And then you had highlighted it, Mike, but all it says is we've updated it uh, for all paid users. This update includes improved writing abilities that are now more natural, audience aware, and tailored to improve relevance and readability and then the uploading files, providing deeper insights kind of thing. Now, it's interesting to note this comes on the heels of the Canvas launch. So on October 3rd, they introduced Canvas, um, which in the post they introduced it, they said, we're introducing Canvas, a new interface for working with ChatGPT on writing and coding projects that go beyond simple chat. Canvas opens in a separate window, allowing you and ChatGPT to collaborate on a project this early beta introduces a new way of working together, not just through conversation, but by creating and refining ideas side by side. It suggests edits, adjusts lengths, uh, adds final polish, adds emojis. Um, I've played around with Canvas a little bit, but it's very obvious that all of these things together are, are very much coming right at the writing profession. <laughs> um, it can be seen as complementary to, for sure, these are just tools, but there's definitely something deeper going on here. Now, this likely has something to do, and this is just me like trying to perceive what's going on. This isn't, I don't have a source to cite for this, but this likely has something to do with the publishing deals that they've been entering into. Because what happens in these models is you do your initial training um, when you build the, the model, but then you do the post training where you're going through and actually improving it or making it, giving it specific expertise and, and capabilities. And so in the post training, you can kind of tune the model based on expert data. So if they, if they come out with their usual 4.0 model, but then they go in and they take all these licensing deals and they fine tune the model to actually write more specifically like, I don't know who they, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of who they have deals with, but think of like publishing houses, media companies, where there is access to licensed creative writing. Yeah. Plus you hire expert creative writers who then go through and tune the model to have it write in, in their style more. Um, that's likely what's going on here is they're just fine tuning the base model with licensed data and expert trainers. Now, the big question to me is the implications to writing profession and, and writers, which Mike, mm -hmm. you and I both are, um, Gen AI is fundamentally changing the way we all create. The thing is like, we don't know the impact this is going to have on authors, journalists, copywriters. Um, but it seems like it's going to be significant. And as we've talked about many times on this podcast, one of the things this does is it democratizes creativity. And in this case, creative writing, like poor writers can become good writers instantly by using these tools. Good writers can become great writers and great writers can have superpowers. Now, what does that mean to journalism schools and media companies and publishers? I have no idea, but it's it's very obvious that open AI is coming for that profession for yeah. better or for worse. I don't like as a writer, like what, what's your reaction to this? Like, what do you think when you see this? 
Yeah, I think um, ChatGPT, at least from what I've heard people gripe about, at least people that don't use it deeply with a lot of examples, they gripe about like, oh, it's not that good a writer. Well, A, it can be if you give it the right examples. B, something like Claude is already where you want these tools to be. So as we improve ChatGPT, I think a lot of people are going to kind of take a step back and say, wait a second, it can write like this out of the box now. And that's going to be quite disruptive, I would guess. What are you, are you using Claude or ChatGPT more in like writing assistance, editing? I would say Claude usually. Okay. Um, it depends on the use case, but in terms of just like really quick off the top of my head prompting to write something, especially again, based on examples. So what you provide does really matter here. I find Claude just more reliable at more nuanced writing. That could change. I have to give this uh, a test run now. Yeah, I I just don't use Claude that much. I mean, I have the account and I'll go in there and like test some prompts in there, but I would say I'm definitely more of a power user for ChatGPT. I find find it just easier, but it's also just what I'm used to. Well, especially too, with how much we've talked about and expanded our use of GPTs, this balance is quickly changing because if I'm doing the same thing over and over again, there's just no point into me continuing to like copy and paste stuff into Claude. 